Unreal. What a hunt. Congrats, that was good. Thanks. Well, November is of course always a busy time for a deer hunter. The rut's just getting going and it's the month that we look forward to out of all 12 the most as a deer hunter. My sister had some time off from university and she was planning to come out and do some hunting at home. Um, and me, myself, having tagged out in October, I had free time. So I was wanting to get out in the bush even though I couldn't hunt myself, get out with my camera and just enjoy the rut. So my sister hunting was a perfect chance for me to get out with my camera and get out and enjoy the just seeing deer. So. That was what we did. She had, I think the first week, it was almost a week, if not 10 days off. And uh, the deer were moving like crazy and we got into some real good deer action. Well, it's November 9th. It's the opening day of rifle season, general rifle season in Manitoba. It's been a crazy busy few days. I just got back yesterday from Alberta, yesterday morning. Drove all night after shooting my deer. Oh. Down to the freaking wire. That's how you always do it. Every isn't time. It? <laughs> Every time. Saturday night. So I was up at six Saturday morning, hunted all day, shot my deer in the last hour of light, deboned my deer, had supper cleaned up, drove 12 hours back to Manitoba, slept for four ish hours, and I woke up to Campbell texting me that he just shot at a buck with his bow. Huh? I was uh, just coming up on 4.30 in a pretty slow afternoon. Heard something coming out behind me. Uh, looked behind me and this guy was coming by about 30 yards. He turned, came right out onto the trail in front of me at 25 yards. I was really excited it all happened super quick, but made a nice shot on him. He went a little over 150. That is my first archery buck, probably pushing close to my biggest buck to date and I am super pumped with them. Couldn't be any more happy. Unreal. What a hunt. We didn't rush things. We let that deer sit for two and a half hours and went and tracked him. Found him relatively easy. <laughs> Man. First deer of the bow, are you kidding me? Jokes. <laughs> Pretty pumped. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> out, out of my out of my old faithful stand too. I got that deer all taken care of last night, and today I got all my gear unpacked, processed all the meat from my mule deer, and now we're out here for the evening sit. The weather front that we drove through on the way home from Alberta is in Manitoba now. Uh, a little bit of snow coming. It's nothing like what it was in Saskatchewan. It's cool, it's snowing. It's perfect weather for bucks to be chasing. And we know what the bucks are chasing because Campbell's deer was a new one and there's a new one on camera right by this stand this morning. So. Oh, it's Christine's turn. Well, it's the morning of November 10th. There's some snow on the ground. 
as you can kind of see behind me here. And uh, I can be the odd flake falling still, but we had a good sit last time. We saw seven different bucks, one shooter that almost came out five yards beside us. He just needed to come out, you know, 50 yards beside us, but he came right beside us and just decided. I don't think he saw anything, but he just had that sixth sense that he knew shouldn't come out right there then he went down and crossed right by my archery stand where Campbell killed his buck two nights ago so lots of deer activity the legal lights in about 20 minutes it takes us about 10 to walk out there so get out there get settled in and I think we're gonna have a good morning fresh snow it's pretty calm it's cool like I said it's November 10th the rut is on this week the 7th to the 14th is usually just absolute fire for the whitetail rut so I think we're gonna have a good morning. Me and Christine are going out. Dad is going out too. He's kind of just bouncing around the property, sitting in different spots where the deer like to move. So here we go. Well, we had some wolves move through overnight, and a couple sets of tracks, and the deer activity has been kind of reflective of that. So only one doe early, or an hour into legal light. So I'm gonna try and. session see really hasn't been much deer activity at all so might be able to stir something up He hunched big time. Yeah. But I was ready, like, as soon as he turned, it's like the, the cross arrows were right where they needed to be. Here we go. Thanks. <laughs> We just came and looked for blood and it was a little bit alarming at first because only found a small handful of hair. But then looking the way he ran, he's piled up right there. So let's go Christine. Try not to lift his pants. Yeah, that's weird. No blood, but he only made it didn't go far at all. 30 yards. Any blood on them, they don't. Drag them out. Oh my god, Cole, that's awesome. I do see blood. Man. Another nice one. See if you can drag them out to here or something.
hit a perfect shot. What do you have to say? Oh, not too much. I'm glad it finally happened and I got the opportunity to get the kind of size I was looking for and putting in as much time as I could given my university schedule but really happy with how this season turned out and that it's not minus 40 right now. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Good for you. Yep. I was very fortunate to be raised in a hunting family. So everyone in my family hunts, both my siblings, both my parents, my aunt, my uncle, my cousins, they all hunt. So including my family in Alberta. So I was very fortunate to be able to get drawn and go out there this year, harvest some mule deer. Got that all taken care of, come back home, sleep for a few hours, and then get to be a part of my brother shooting his first archery deer and his new personal best whitetail. Uh, absolutely beautiful buck, a buck that we hadn't, hadn't seen for a year. And uh, he just showed back up for the first time, walked past the stand my brother was in. So that was really cool. And then of course, as you just saw, my sister, um, she put some time in and uh, passed some younger bucks and, uh, and then got a, a chance at a real nice buck and her new personal best whitetail as well so just an awesome season and great to be with family and uh, enjoying it together.